Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Sierra 401 FLX destination trailer. This is a front living room, rear bedroom model. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this destination trailer, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Sierra 401 FLX. As you've seen on the floor plan, this is a front living room, rear bedroom setup here. So let's get started up in the front section. So across the front area here, you have quite a few large windows. All five of those windows do open, so you could get a nice breeze kind of rolling through there. Even the one right here on the side of the slide does as well. The sofa will flip out, make into a full-size bed, so you could sleep a couple extra adult guests here if you needed to, or maybe the grandkids. They are currently using a pull-down roller shade, kind of a blackout shade. You have deep tent safety glass windows with an option for dual pane windows when ordering. You have quite a bit of storage up in this area as well. And you can see right there the King Wi-Fi connect, uh, connect box right there. It would allow you to basically kind of subscribe to an aftermarket internet service. Um, if you wanted to, uh, sort of some of the campgrounds as well, you can kind of use those type of things to connect to the campgrounds webs or internet if they have that, depending on where you're located at. Ceiling fan up top. There is an electric outlet on the left side with a USB charger port built in and same thing on the right side. Now here you have a theater seat facing directly at your TV entertainment area here. Kind of kick back and recline back. You got a little bit of cup holder area there and some storage in the middle. Big windows in that slide out. Kind of overlooking your awning or campsite area. They have little LED accent lighting above these two slides in this area. Now straight across here we have our TV area. So you have your TV, which is kind of on a swing arm, so you can maneuver it around a little bit. You have your sound bar radio system down below, and you also have your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. There's a little travel latch here. This whole area kind of swings open. It's on a little bit of a shock assist up there and gives you a lot of hidden storage back in behind that entertainment area. And there's also motion light in there as well. Now over here on your kitchen area, we have that really nice big insignia oven. Four burner stove top, glass front on your oven, has the light built in, little blue lights above your knobs and stuff, but a really nice almost residential style oven here. Drawer wise, you have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. A little bit deeper ones down below. Have like a little soft close touch to them. Same thing on the uh, cabinets here as well. They have kind of a soft close on your cabinet doors. Flip up countertop extension here. You have some storage below your sink area, and then you have three more drawers over there. Large undermount sink. It is a single bowl, kind of farm style sink, with a little strainer cover there. And you have your high rise spring sprayer faucet. Little vent fan up there. The dinette table is attached to the wall instead of having the little leg in the center. 
There is a wireless charging port also built into the table there. And then you have four chairs. These do raise up when they're not strapped down for a little hidden storage underneath the chair seat. Now your main subfloor is all vinyl. And then you have the little woven material on the slide floor over here that they use on a lot of pontoon boats. It's a lot easier to clean up and more durable than your traditional carpet. Oh, and there's also an electric outlet underneath of the table as well. Large microwave by Furion. You have some storage up above that. Solid surface, kind of a stone style countertop here. Little toe kick lighting on this side. A couple electric outlets on the side along with the propane leak detector. And they have this big Furion 12 volt refrigerator. This does have an ice maker as well in the freezer part. Your controls here on the side. Couple pull out drawers. Now the ice maker on off valve is outside underneath the slide out. I'll show you that when we get out there as well. You have electric box with some breakers and fuses here. We have the Furion on demand water heater controls. The vent fan controls are also right there. Some light switches. One of your two 15,000 BTU ducted Coleman ACs right here. You have two speakers up there. Pretty deep area right here, actually. Right here, you're going to have some of your controls and some more deeper area down below. But on the controls here, we have some light switches, uh, water... Uh, tank heaters for your holding tanks right here, water pump switch, uh, awning in and out button, slide in and out button, monitor panels for your holding tanks as well. You have the large sliding glass entry exit door here. It does come with these little hang down kind of pleated blind thing. For privacy they don't install that uh, at the factory and they recommend you don't install it until it gets there just in case that door were to accidentally slide open somehow in transit that blind sometimes gets sucked out and flaps around and the little metal plate weights in it damage the side of the RV so I would recommend not installing that until you get it where you're going or put some sort of board or something in the track of the door to make sure it can't accidentally pop open. You have more storage here, little coat area. Again, that soft close hinge. Digital thermostat right here for your propane furnace and your front ducted AC, along with the switch there on the wall for the ceiling fan. Bathroom area right here. So starting from the top down, we do have AC duct in here, skylight in here, another vent fan in here. You have a little bit of linen closet here on the left. One piece fiberglass shower, sit down seat, adjustable shower bar, sliding glass enclosure, porcelain foot flush toilet, heat duct down there. And then you also have your little sink area, medicine cabinet area as well. Now when you're in transit, there is a little latch right here to lock it in place. Let's get in here, kind of spin around so you can see this a little better from this side. Fan controls, light switch, electric outlet. There's a decent amount of room in here, nothing real fancy about it, but uh, 
Definitely like the one-piece fiberglass shower part with the sit-down seat. Back here, we're going to have the bedroom area. All right, so kind of starting up top here. You have some AC ducts up there. You have your second 15,000 BTU ducted Coleman AC. Along the back area right here, there is a pretty large storage area right there. And then down below, you have a washer dryer area right here if you want to use it for that. Or you could maybe do it as a broom closet, you know, kind of set it up as a hanging closet if you wanted to. They don't put a closet bar in there because they're really expecting it more for washer dryer purposes. But kind of do what you want with it. Over here you have six drawers it looks like here. Double check just to make sure. Yep, there we go. Sometimes they put drawer fronts on this stuff and it's not actually a drawer. It's just kind of for decorations to hide access panels. Here we have a little closet area on both sides. A little shelf space up there and even up above that as well. There is a screen door. Again, they do not install that until it gets somewhere because it will possibly blow out in transit. So you do have your little screen door area right there. Windows on each side do open. Some overhead cabinet space, some lights up there. It is a 72 by 80 camper king bed. And again, that bed will raise up for some extra storage underneath of it. You can also access that from outside. Little dresser area over there, and it has the uh, electric outlet and cable outlet on the side. So you could maybe set your TV there, or if you wanted to mount it to the wall, there's a backer in the wall. They are like little plywood backers. The walls are only roughly two inches thick, so do not use too long of a screw, or you'll go right through the side of the sidewall. Oh, there is, forgot to mention, just under those little shelves, there's an electric outlet and USB charger port on each side. And then there's actually another one right over here as well. And then you obviously have your entry exit door here to take you outside as well. All right, so nice setup here for this beautiful front living room Sierra. Um, we are going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. And we're going to come back in and close it up for you, kind of show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Sierra Destination Trailer. This again is the 401 FLX. So starting here on the door side of the RV, we have a kind of gray fiberglass exterior. Aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls. You have a lower metal skirting. Deep tent safety glass windows. They do have an option for dual pane windows for you extended stay folks. Right down here, there's a little cap you can remove. Just back in behind there is the hydraulic pump for the slide system. There's also a little backup button underneath of there as well. In case for some reason the inside button were to fail. Moving on back here, you can see we have the large sliding glass entry door here. You have LED light strip built into the awning. It is a power awning, has a manual override in the front arm head, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. You have two outdoor speakers, and you also have an amber porch light as well. So it's kind of nice that they have a porch light and an awning light both. On this entry door here, they have a traditional hover style step. It's rated for 300 pounds. You also have the large folding entry handle. And then back there in that 
entry door, they did the more ride step, which has a 500 pound rating, comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet. Kind of surprised they did that back there. Typically on destination trailers, they don't spend the extra money for that step. They just go at the regular step because most people tend to build decks on these things and then don't use the steps at all. But here you got a mixture of both. You do have steel wheels, easy lube hubs, drum brakes, traditional fiberglass entry door back here does have a screen door. There is a cable outlet and an electric outlet, both right there. Now just down below here, you have a gas line hookup. This right here allows you to plug in a portable grill and maybe do some outside cooking if you wanted. This one was also ordered with stabilizer jacks. Does have a fully enclosed underbelly as well. Step back here so you can kind of see down that whole side a little better. Now on the back of the RV, you have a traditional flat back rear end. Nothing real special back here. Just kind of looking down this side here. Kind of see some of your slide mechanics and stuff. Again, these are hydraulic slides on this model. There's a little bit of storage underneath of the bed area right here from outside. Little beauty ring caps for the wheels. Now right here in between the slides, you're gonna have some of the uh, mechanics of things. So there is a hot and cold outside utility shower here. There is your 50 amp detachable power cord right here. You also have your city water inlet, fresh water connection to fill up your portable water, black tank flush to clean out the toilet system, satellite and cable outlets all right here. Now just kind of looking down below here, there are four pull handles for your dumping right here. It all comes out of this one area right here. You have the Furion on-demand water heater right here and your furnace also located right here. Just down below, hot and cold low point water drains. And just underneath of the slide here, there is a fresh water tank drain. And kind of hidden back here, right there, is the ice maker on off and drain valve right here. Now something to consider when you're parking these things, if you're not gonna build any type of shelter around it or anything, you might also consider adding slide out awning topper covers to the slides. They are awnings that roll in and out with your slide out, basically kind of helping shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. So definitely consider that, talk with your salesperson about that. Now right here we have some important informational stickers. So production date sticker, this one for example was built 9-7 of 23, model number 401 FLX. 13,841 pound gross vehicle weight. 11,119 pound dry weight, 40 feet, four inches long. ST23580R16E range tires with an 80 PSI cold. If you're gonna tow this thing around, make sure you keep up with your tire pressure especially. Very, very important. You can kind of see up top there, the little uh, TV antenna thing up there. Two 
two 30 pound propane tanks under the hard cover there. Room for a battery to go right here. Comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. So make sure your dealer does get you a battery. Detachable front tongue also. So if you are at one of those campgrounds that uh, limits you on length and you need to shorten it up a little bit, that tongue is detachable. Two and five sixteenths hitch balls, seven way Bargman plug, manual crank up and down jack. Got a little hitch light there in the front. And then you also again have those little LED lights up there. Pretty cool little setup. All right, we're gonna head back inside real quick. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2024 Sierra 401 FLX here. And I wanted to show you what this thing looks like closed up. So these are hydraulic slides. And basically they kind of flow the path of least resistance on the slide system. So I went ahead and closed up two of the slides just to kind of get us started here. You can see everything comes in pretty snug, nice and tight. Now if you're traveling, I would recommend putting the cutting board down, but for now we just left it up. As you kind of see that all came in pretty snug back there. And right here, kind of the same thing. We're going to be kind of snug here. It comes in right up against the dresser area here. So if I needed to, I could still come back here. I can obviously get in through the back door, but I could still come back here and lay down, take a nap or something if I wanted to, if I was a traveling person. Or if it's just uh, closed up for the winter or something, you need to come in here and grab something you might have left in here you can still get in here. The slides closed does not bother my bathroom area at all, so you're good there. And it does not bother the refrigerator access at all either. So again, if you're a traveling person, you have access to the bathroom, the bedroom, and your refrigerator, and you could even stretch across and wash your hands at the sink if you wanted. But when you are ready to close things up or open them up, you gotta come in here to the control panel and hit the button. So bringing this on in, this slide over here is kind of a flush floor slide. So it does come in at a little bit of an upward angle. And then it just comes on in until it stops real close to the island. And you'll hear that motor grind down a little bit because it can't go any further. Just let off the button so you don't damage anything. But again, nice and snug. Not really climbing around over here to get to anything up there when it's closed up. Let's step outside real quick. Just to kind of give you a quick look down the side with the slide closed here. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my RV tours. And also remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They sh uh, sell and ship these things all over the United States and even into Canada. Please be sure to check them out. Thanks again.